What's up with you, everybody? Peace, blessings, man. I got a question for everybody today. You know, I only ask good questions. What's up, Ash? I see you in here. I'm putting together a plan for you. We got some business. What's up, what's up with you? Look, I got a question for everybody that's on the line. Uh, and the simple question is, are you listening to the podcast? Thank you. Thank you, thank you. If you want to sponsor the podcast, there's a button that you can press on there to appreciate. Um, I should be uploading a new episode tonight on the podcast. I'm going to try to stay regular. Um, if, like I say, if you watch the, listen to the podcast and you want to help sponsor the podcast, um, you can always send something to the Cash App. Or there's a direct button that allows you to subscribe and become a sponsor monthly. And it allows me to shout you out as a top tier sponsor. But what I wanted to get into today was about um, daily goals. And I wanted to ask you, what are your daily goals? You can look at it like this. If a person says, and I'm going to break this down in the most simple manner as possible. Let's say if a person says, I want to make um, $3,000 a month. So it's 30 days in a month, and the person will be like, I got to make $100 a day. So that's $3,000. So that means that you would have to do something every single day to make sure that you met your goal. So you should be able to set up three strategies within your day, a morning, an afternoon, and an evening strategy to make sure you're hitting that goal. Meaning that as soon as you wake up, there should be something you're doing, and the afternoon is something you're doing, and right before you go to bed, uh, or you, well, before you go to sleep, so that it's working for you as well. Now, in this age that we're living in with this cell phone, if you become an expert at how to use this cell phone, you are able to expedite the ability to be able to complete your goals in a quicker manner. Me. I've always been the type of person who like to use technology and like to use the tools. I recognized a long time ago that me gaining the asset of learning how to use the phone a long time ago was going to be my way of um, hacking my growth and being able to build and being able to brand myself and create an international presence. While people was really sitting back learning on how to do programming on computers and do editing and things of that nature on computers. I said to myself, that's not what I wanted to tap into because I knew that the industry was leading to where everything would be accessible on your phone. So instead, I increased my skill asset to be able to completely run a business just on my phone. And not only that, to be able to communicate the designs and the ideas and my goals and being able to implement them on the phone. If you're from the Bay, y'all should be able to tell me where I'm at right now. But um, I'm in Jack London, they give you a hint. So, what I want to do for you all, and what I'm going to be doing for some people who already signed up for the Keys Academy, is not only teaching you how to build your dream on the phone, um, and also giving you that mindset management, but also enlisting and helping you create three daily goals to where you can get to complete everything that you need to get done. Because it's really all about creating a system. Once you create a system and you have a formula in place, then all you have to do is work your system daily. And then that system funnels to your goal every single day. So. You know, case in point, I have an operation. I have to put out a certain amount of content every single day. You know what I mean? I have to at least put out three pieces of content. You know what I mean? Because I have to keep the busyness of the algorithm flowing for my page. That's something that I have to do. And that's a small goal. But at the same time, it has to be back and matched with intent to make sure that it happened. The name of the podcast is 19 Keys. So you can go into all your platforms and just type in 19KEYS stream subscribe and so that's the most important thing right now is to creating that daily goal list because as you get on the path of repetition and you're starting to create those daily goals for one you get back by the reward system of being able to complete your goals every single day whether it's a small goal whether it's a big goal but I would say treat your day like it's a three quarters the same way I want you all to treat your year at the top of the year, that first three, or that first quarter is going to be January, February, March. You know what I mean? So your day is going to be indicative upon the same thing. You have the rising, you have the afternoon, and then you have the evening. But you also have to realize that we live in a digital age. So that an individual like myself may be on the West Coast right now, but there's people on the East Coast. You know what I mean? There's people all around the world in Italy and things of that nature. So I can't localize my business structure because as I might think somebody is sleeping um, on the West Coast because it's my time, 
but there's other people that's rising. So what I want to do, because you know my business and my services go all around the world, I'm, I'm, I'm branding myself at the point to where I'm an international speaker and an international thinker and an international business person. So what I like to do is to make sure that I'm always keeping in mind a what's the international time. You know what I mean? And you definitely don't want to localize your business. I ship crown, I ship crowns out to Italy and Canada, and I do um, uh, 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 one on one consultations with people who are in other countries and things of that nature. You know, I might have to get a translator. It don't matter. When we think about our business, we are localizing them to what's in our vicinity. And so then when we look at our vicinity, we say it's no opportunity here. But when you learn how to use your phone the correct way and you learn how to use technology and you realize that we are ahead, we are in 2019, year of the keys, meaning that any thought that we have, there's already a tool that will help us unlock it. So the better that you become at using these tools, the better you become at building your dreams. Yeah, you know I mean, building your businesses, building your relationships, whatever it may be. Even, I mean, it applies to every aspect of life because even a parent, right? And this is something that I told my own parents. I said, look, in, in a certain sense, it's easier for you to become a parent or to be a parent in 2018 because you can study and keep track of your children. At a time where your child may not have told you things about themselves, you can always just go look at their Instagram and get a whole rundown of their psychology and what they're doing in life. You understand me? So I've had to teach that to my parents on how she can stay up to date with her children. You know what I mean? So even though a person may not be calling, That's but you have to right realize there. that we created a whole That's profile on That's our nice. social media pages to where you can I'm even watch what we're doing. You, that so you, can you know what I mean? So therefore, you never have to feel out of connect and you never feel disconnected. Because what happens to a lot of older people, as businesses, as technology evolves, they start to feel behind because they don't want to evolve with the technology. They say, nah, I like the way things used to be. Instead of saying that I like the way things are and I will use what is so that I can continuously grow. Because that time you fall in love with a time period is that time you become old. The time you start to live in the past. The same way if you love that you love the 90s music or you love the early 2000s music and that's the only thing you listen to and you don't understand a new generation because you're not growing with them you're not evolving with them and then that's that moment you become old and you're stuck in the past and that's only where you live instead you have to continuously keep yourself present so you continuously know the culture and you can speak the language of the culture you know what i mean so it's never get to that point where you shine and you snub your nose up at what's going on in the present, you have to consistently condition yourself and reprogram yourself every day and update yourself. You know what I mean? Update yourself to current time every single day so you don't get caught in yesterday. You don't get caught up in the day before yesterday. You don't get caught up in the past at all. Some of you all have great businesses, you have great things, but you're just not running it the way that it needs to be ran based on the type of opportunities that now exist. You know what I mean? You want to start a clothing company, but you only want to do it with a t-shirt, even though you now can create a million list of products that you'll be able to put out there. You may be able to create glasses, or maybe able to create jewelry, or maybe able to create that damn uh, wave caps or something like that. But when we thought about creating clothing lines, we always think that, okay, this is I'm going to put out as a t-shirt. We have to be way beyond that. If you want to call a line, then maybe you should be putting out a wave cap put it at a certain price, and then set a t-shirt just as a free edition of bonus or something. Get people involved into the business. You can do things differently because you'll be able to design concepts right on your phone, but if you're not gonna spend that time to to uh, uh, obtain a new skill, which can really just look like watching a tutorial on YouTube, then boom, you updated yourself. I mean, you're not the same person you was yesterday because you have a new um, neural connection. Your brain has changed a little bit. You know what I mean? And with new knowledge and new information, it changes who you are consistently. So when I say update yourself, I mean that in the most real way possible. What are you learning today? And we've always, I remember when we was in school, people asked me, what did you learn today? And you know, in school you're forced to have some sort of education. In society, you're not forced to have an education, but you're supposed to continue to grow. And the thing that happens with people who get degrees and things of that nature, sometimes they stop growing because education can sometimes kill the progress of growing, of growth, because you believe, oh, I got a degree, I have this thing, it's solidified. And you think that education stops only when it's in a classroom setting or a university. But the university does no longer spit out universal knowledge. It's not creating and breeding geniuses and breeding, breeding um, polymaths, people who learn universal knowledge, to have an all-around ability to continuously learn and continuously self-educate. If you were sick and there was no doctors in the world, you would still have to heal yourself. 
The same way, if you unintelligent and there's no schools or universities as well, you still have to educate yourself. Huh? Self-education is the key. And in this new paradigm as we move forward, you're going to see, watch, you're going to start seeing professors start uh, creating more courses and going steering away from universities and things of that nature. Because why? Because of access to information. We've never had this more access to information at any other point on the planet Earth than we do right now, utilizing this technology, streaming these things. We're always streaming thoughts and information. Always streaming thoughts and information, which means if people from 2000, today they would automatically think that oh those people everybody in that everybody in their new world is extremely intelligent they must have a lot of geniuses because they have access to so much information but they'll be regarding it based off their limited access to information and knowledge and also the time that it takes to learn something and their hungriness to want to learn but the average person is not that hungry to learn something new all the time even though that the opportunity now exists in abundance so yeah, I just got one. The um, For some reason, I I had hope. The, the, the important yeah. thing is to consistently update yeah. yourself. So consistently go. have that hunger for new information. Consistently be enthused. And I'm allow right. yourself yeah. to get the reward system. Program yourself to enjoy the reward system of learning something new. You know what I mean? That's going to be your most pivotal thing. And also learning applicable knowledge. You know? That's the key. Applicable knowledge. Not just saying I'm reading things that make me feel good, even though I'm reading regardless, it's still stretching the mind, it's still exercising the mind, but things that you need as skills that still take you further. Me, I learn from people as well. Like the people I'm surrounded with, I can learn from each and every one of them. If I can't learn from them, then we, we probably don't have a long relationship that we're gonna be able to build with. But at the same time, I make sure that I always have something that I can teach everybody else in my environment. I always have a value that I can give to the people around me. And then you can test that value by asking those people around you, yo, have I brought any value in your life? And I want you to really think about that. Sometimes we don't know how much value a person brings in our life just by the trickle effect. Who did they introduce us to? What kind of knowledge did they give us? Did they help us make some more money? Did they help teach me a new skill? Did they introduce me to this, that, and the third? All of it is a measurement of value. You know what I mean? So when you think about all of the people in your life, you got to think, damn, am I adding value to the people in my life? Or maybe I'm not. I'm not sure. You know what I mean? And if you're not sure, then that means most likely that you're not. And then you can ask the same question to the people in your life, are they adding value? And if they not, then you know you heard the podcast, it's cutoff season. You get to get rid of it. So the question you need to ask is for yourself, are you adding value in your own life? And what are your goals for the day? And if you can't pinpoint goals that's going to get you to your objectives and the things that you want to actually get done, then you need to change something about your day. So in the morning, what's my goal, right? Take a real piece of paper. Matter of fact, I want you to buy a whiteboard. Buy a whiteboard like you a teacher. Stick it on your wall, you know what I mean? And write down goal one. First you have your big goals, then you have your goals that fit inside. Your little goals are your strategy to get you to your bigger ones, you know what I mean? So like I said, if you wanted to make $3,000 in, a, in a, month, a month, then you would say, I gotta make $100, you know, per, um, per day. And then you had to break that down. You know what I mean, what does it look like? How do can I make, if you wanted to work 10 hours, that'd be up to you, which means that you only have to make $10 an hour for yourself. I know with you, the fact that you have a mind, you can figure out a skill that does that. You know what I mean? Then you would say, well, maybe I want to do it in five hours, and I mean, I got to do $20 an hour. And then you can work five hours a day. You know what I'm talking about? So it's, what are you willing to, what kind of goal are you willing to uh, involve yourself in? What kind of activities are you willing to involve yourself in in order to meet those goals? You know what I mean? And then when you start making little goals and little goals, like even if you're working a job, have you a small goal like, oh, I want to make an extra $300 a month. You know what I mean? Which looks like very pennies. You're making $10 a day extra. You know what I mean? You're telling me you can't make an extra $10 a day? Let's say your rent is $800 and you're making an extra $10 a day. Guess what? You just knocked off a percentage of your, your, your rent right there. But we don't break things down mathematically, which is the reason that we don't get to the objectives. We're not thinking mathematically. And that's why I want people to think mathematically because then you start to create a formula, you start to create a system, and these goals become so much easier. It's like January, cool, I didn't make my $10. Make that every single day. Some of y'all really just need to make another 10 or $20 a day. That's it. Some of y'all in life will greatly improve.
Because for some of y'all, that's like half of your rent money. That's it. An extra twenty dollars a day is half of your rent. You know what I mean? That's 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 killing your problems. And then if you make it forty dollars a day for so a lot of people, that's your whole rent. You know what I mean? So it's like, what are you willing to do? And what are you going to do? And what are your daily goals? Ask yourself that, because it's not up to me, it's up to you. Tap in. I appreciate y'all. The podcast gonna be up. Make sure you're in the Keys Academy. Um, we're gonna be building. Thank you for everybody who so far has uh, subscribed to the Keys Academy and everybody who subscribed to Black on Demand. There's two ways you can do it. You can go directly to the site on Shopify, click the link in the bio. And um, you want to see the collection for Keys Academy, you can get your 1919 membership, which gives you access to the weekly video calls to where I get to talk to you. Um, and then also you can do the 15, $59.99, which is going to be bigger. No, it's not too late to join. We started early access enrollment, but the original, uh, the official um, start date is going to be January 1st. And so it's going to take care of a one month. Uh, subscription, which means it's going to last till January 31st, which means that every week I'm going to be talking with you, I'm going to be building with you to get your uh, year on course so we can build together and we can grow together. And we're going to make sure you have your daily goals that fit inside your bigger ones so we get to change your life for the better. It's all mindset management. That's all it is. You can manage your mind, you manage your life, and you manage your legacy. It's time to get it right, man. Make sure you tap in. Peace.